How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The first expansion, where is it? We are still waiting on it, we're still waiting for news on it, we're still waiting for a release date, we don't even know what it is. What's happening? Well there's been a few things happen within the past couple of weeks slash month that are sort of giving us hints that this expansion may be on the horizon. I really do believe that Forza Horizon 5 really does need this first expansion relatively soon-ish because lots of players are really eager for it and lots of players will return to the game because of the expansion. I think it really needs it and I think it is coming soon. Let's talk about why. Now you all know of E3. E3 is a yearly sort of games showcase thing where games get announced, games get shown, expansions get shown. You may remember back in E3 at 2019, that was where the expansion 2 for Horizon 4 was released, the Lego expansion. So this is the type of area where things get announced. Now we do know that E3 this year has been cancelled, unfortunately. There's not even going to be a virtual E3 so there's nowhere for the expansion to be announced there. However, very recently Microsoft announced that Xbox and Bethesda are doing a games showcase in June. Now June is usually when E3 takes place, so this is their substitute. This is Microsoft slash Xbox's substitute for E3. They're going to announce a few things there and, as I'm sure you can guess, the first expansion is a likely candidate. I'm not saying the first expansion will release in June, but we may very well hear about it in that Xbox Game Showcase in June. Now there are a lot more things going on, you know, sort of behind the scenes, hints that we've been given that add up to this story even more. One of the last times that Mike Brown, the creative director at Playground Games, was asked about the first expansion, this was his response. Um, so for expansion one, uh, right now, uh, the team is hard at work on monthly content, mm -hmm. updates like this one you've just seen. Yeah. Uh, and also we're working on some new stuff as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be talking about that soon, uh, but not today. The elephant in the room is answered, it's been worked on folks, it's on the way. Now bear in mind this was over a month ago now, just about a month ago on the dot, and you know, he said the word soon, so you'd think that soon would mean within the next few months at least. So just that the fact that the word soon was used, that they might have a bit of news about it, is, you know, good to hear. I can imagine if the first expansion wasn't going to be till November or December, they wouldn't have really said that. They would have just sort of shut the question down and, you know, not answered like that. The next thing that makes all of this even more likely is the last update for Horizon 5, which is Series 7, obviously included all of the Series 8 stuff as well. Series 7 and Series 8 are already announced. Now, Series 7 started last week on the 28th, and it's going to go until the 26th of May. Series 8, which is already announced, is going to start on the 26th of May and end, let me get this right, on the 23rd of June, which means Series 9 will start on the 23rd of June. And this matters because it means that this Xbox Games Showcase is going to happen in the middle of Series 8, just a couple of weeks before Series 9 starts. And usually, when things are announced, it's a couple of weeks, maybe about a month, before it releases. So Series 9 will be towards the end of June and the most of July, which is around when, you know, a potential release date could be for the first expansion, if it gets announced at this Xbox Game Showcase. Now, the reason they would give us Series 7 and Series 8 all in one update is so, from today, they don't need to give us any updates until late June. All of the Series 7 stuff and all of the Series 8 stuff are always in, already in the game, so other than bug fixes, they don't need to update the game at all until after this game's showcase, which means that they've got a good couple of months of being able to add all of this potential expansion stuff to the game without giving us an update and accidentally sort of leaving stuff in the files. Mike Brown said himself that the reason we're getting Series 8 is just it's easy for them sometimes to put stuff in combined updates just so stuff doesn't get found out or left over. Now if the expansion is being announced within Series 8's June timeline and potentially being released within Series 9, this does add up. It gives them a bit of leeway, it gives them a bit of time to not have to worry about leaving any droplets of the expansion in the files and really surprising us in June for Series 9. Now this doesn't mean that Expansion 1 is going to come out in Series 9, it might be Series 10, but it's just in that general area. There's even more that adds up to this being likely. You may remember the last Torben Tuesday we had. This is an image from Playground Games full of clues as to what's coming in the future. Um, all of this was relating to Series 7, so it's already known. However, there was one part of the board 
down here, as I've mentioned a few times, this word here looks like the word June crossed out with the letter Y afterwards. It looks like the word June altered to look like July. Now people have speculated that this is hinting at the expansion being announced in June or it was meant for June. It's been cancelled or crossed to July. This just adds up again with everything I've just talked about, June, July type time around series nine. Now all of this isn't just talk within the Horizon community, all of the forums and the sort of the news pages about Xbox themselves and just Xbox in general are predicting that one of the very likely candidates for this game showcase is the first Horizon 5 expansion. There's plenty of articles that are predicting this. It happened with the Lego expansion, it certainly could happen with this first expansion as well. And if I'm going to make a guess, I would say that out of all of the videos I've done on the first expansion, you know, predicting this, predicting that, having a guess, looking at leaks, this is the most likely situation we have. First expansion being announced or shown to us within the Xbox Game Showcase in June and then announced, but sorry, released end of June, sort of July time around series nine slash 10. I really do think this first expansion needs to come out relatively soon within the next couple of months. If you look at the play accounts for Horizon 5, although it hasn't dropped much within the past couple of months, it's actually been quite steady since June, but it's just not increasing. And over time, it is just gonna keep decreasing. As slow as it is decreasing, it's still gonna do it. This is just the player base on Steam. We don't have the numbers for Xbox, so I know that this number is dramatically low but it gives us the average idea of how many players played it at launch and are playing it now. It's decreasing and it stayed pretty flat for the past couple of months. So I really think this first expansion is needed quite soon and it's looking like it might be quite likely. As for our guesses as to what the first expansion is, again, even to this day, we don't know. There's not really been many guesses other than a few, you know, a few likely candidates to what the first expansion could be, such as the Jurassic World expansion that I've done a video on and a few other people have done videos on as well. The argument for this being true isn't very strong, so don't get your hopes up. It's just a theory, a working theory, and even to this day, that's probably the best theory that's out there, which is good because that means that if it isn't the Jurassic World expansion, whatever we're getting, it's going to be a nice surprise. It's going to be something different. Just to add to it, yet another strange thing for related happened within the last week. Forza Horizon 1 appeared back on the Xbox Microsoft Store for the first time in God knows how long. It popped up to buy for some reason, but this did end up turning out to be a mistake in the end and it was then later removed. That just sort of adds to the pool of strange Horizon 5 stuff happening lately. All of the hints and stuff directing towards June and July, something happening there. There's a game showcase Will we see the first expansion? I think we will. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below, but that is it for today's video, guys. June and July is gonna be very exciting months for Horizon 5. We've got Series 7 and 8 to keep us you know, busy in the time being, which are two very good updates. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. See you all later. <laughs>